Uh, this video I'm going to show uh, one way to use the new clipping block. On this quilt I have a whole motif stitched out in this area. Um, it's hard to see because the thread is the same colour as the fabric. And there's a half block right here and I want to put half the motif in this block here. Um, so I will do it with clipping block. So we'll move up to the screen now so I can show what we do. Here's my whole block with the pattern in it. And I've marked on quilt the half setting block here. Now, if I zoom in, you'll see that this edge is not straight. It's got a bit of a wiggle in it. Let me move it a bit. You can see there's a bit of a wiggle there. It's not a perfect quilt. Um, it's a... Uh, it's, uh, usual quilt that you get. Now the old way, I, uh, the, before we had clipping block I would have to split this pattern in half and then move it over here. Clipping block makes it so easy. So I'm going to add a pattern to this block. So I'm going to touch add edit pattern, uh, modify, pa modify pattern because I'm going to move this one down here. So here's my pattern. Um, continue. Now I'm going to move it down into my block and I'll zoom in so I can see it better. I'm going to move it in until I like where it is, where it's setting. Uh, my start end point is over here which is good. This part of the pattern is going to get cut off. Let me just rotate that 90 around. If the start end point was here in the part that's going to be stitched, uh, then I, I don't like that because I don't want the pattern to start here, stitch, then come down here and stitch this part. I want to stitch it out all in one. So I'm going to rotate it, which is what I did there. Now the start end point is there, which is off the edge of the quill, the block. So it's going to get deleted, um, which is good. Um, so let me look at that. Yeah, I kind of like the way that pattern is placed. Let me move it that in there a bit. Okay, so I'm finished. Now I want to get rid of this part of the pattern. So I don't want to do anything more with pattern. I'm going to touch finished. I'm going to add edit block. Add a block. This is where I'm going to choose clipping block. It says, please select the patterns to be affected by touching one of their points. This is the pattern that I want clipped off so it'll fit in the block. So it's this pattern. Continue. Now it says how do you want to define the block? This is the clipping block. Uh, and I've got all these choices. I'm going to select an existing block. Select existing block. It's this one. It's highlighted in red. It says please select the clipping block by touching one of the points, which is what I did. Continue. And now it's showing me how it's going to clip off the pattern. The area uh, in green is inside the clipping block. It's cut off all the pattern that's outside the clipping block. I like that, so I'm finished. It asks me one more time, do you want to commit to the block clipping as previewed? Yes. So there's my pattern and it will stitch out. Um, it, was, it will start up here and it'll stitch around until it gets to there. The nice thing about cl using clipping block is that if you're if your seams aren't straight, it, you can set the pattern in each setting triangle, use the clipping block, and you know it's going to stitch right up to the seam line. You won't have to fudge, you won't have to move the, the quilt around. It'll cut off exactly the right amount of pattern to fit into the setting triangle. So there's um, how to use one way to use clipping block.